Okay, so here we are on week number four of the Pioneer Acres Stationary 1948 Browning Vertical Boiler Rebuild. As you can see, things are, well, more or less the same. We're still, uh, still grinding away at the uh, tubes on the top, and things are moving steadily along. Hopefully, uh, they're thinking next week or the week after we'll finally start cutting tubes and dropping the new ones in there but uh, as of now we still have the 300 some odd uh, tubes to grind the welding off the top of them and then once that's finished we'll get inside the firebox there and start cutting the tubes from below yeah. oh yeah here we are up on top you can see uh, we've been hammering away steadily with the grinders. You can see uh, basically what we're doing is we're exposing the tube on the tube plate. We're grinding them down to the point where you can differentiate between what's tube and what's tube plate. And then uh, once we reach that point we know we've gone far enough it's ready to come out so we move on to the next one and we repeat that process 290, 300 some odd times. And it takes a long time because these welds were thick. Some of them are not half an inch, but uh, darn close, probably you know, three eighths, somewhere around there. Some of them. There was uh, some pretty thick welding going on up here. So that's where that is. So I'll keep hammering away at it, and hopefully by August we'll have this thing up and running again. So, yeah. Here we are up in the attic of the uh, stationary steam building. Looking down you can see the uh, upper tube plate of the giant browning vertical. And that's what we're working on right now. We're going to get her all retubed and back and running for the August show. That's uh, less than two months away so we got some work ahead of us. But uh, you know, we're just volunteers. We do what we can. And uh, up here you can see the output. That's where the uptake from the boiler would vent out through the roof. And here we got uh, the uh, giant smoke box that would uh, normally sit on top of the tube plate. And we got that unbolted and removed, and we just have it sitting off to the side in the attic here. And actually, now that I see it, there's our Pioneer Acres famous steam whistle that uh, hoots every uh, noon time at every show. So there you have it, another beautiful day at Pioneer, but we're stuck down here in the foul pit, or grinding away at these. Here's something you're not going to see too often, you can walk around on the top of the boiler, because hopefully a month and a half from now this will be uh, retubed and got the dome back on it, and uh, we're going to be putting some fire through these tubes and we'll be back and rolling so there we are with that we're gonna keep keep hammering away 